What? It's the Tom Likas Show. Yes! That's awesome! And now, and now, here he is, Tom Likas. Thank you for tuning in to the Tom Likas Show. Here's a story out of Orlando, Florida. A local mother who got a brat doll. You ever seen those brat dolls? They're like the evil competitors to Barbie dolls. A local mother got a brat doll for her daughter said on Friday that she noticed something inappropriate on her child's new toy. She's my favorite doll, said seven-year-old Brianna Staley. Brianna said she loves her Brad doll, Chloe's soft hair and outfits. But her mother says part of the rocker doll's outfit is out of line. Victoria Daly said her daughter's doll's belt buckle reads, Enter. She's a rocker. She's in a rock band. The belt buckle, Staley said. She's like, why does it say enter? What am I supposed to do? Staley said the word of the buckle is just too sexually suggestive for a seven-year-old's toy. She doesn't need to know about that, Staley said. I don't think it's the right message for children at all. Well, darling, who bought her the doll? You, you putz. Are you kidding me? If you think the doll contains a sexually suggestive message that's inappropriate for children, why did you buy her the doll? Says here, she said if she had known the belt buckle said that, she wouldn't have bought the doll. Come on. The dolls are so sold in those boxes where you can see the doll in the box. Come on. She said she took off the belt and let Brianna keep her new Christmas present. She's in a band, Brianna said. She plays with her friends in a band. Stanley said that when she called the company MGA Entertainment, a representative told her that the belt is supposed to be that way. The way he's explaining, it's supposed to be like a seat belt, Staley said. Like how a seat belt in a car has enter. You enter the seat belt. <laughs> no, it doesn't. <laughs> enter the seat belt? I'm like, well, you're still entering. Staley said the Bratz maker offered her a couple of free toys, but she said that's not enough. She said, I wasn't just going to let it go. I don't want them making that doll anymore. <laughs> well, look, Brad's dolls are one of the hottest, not the hottest dolls out there. One of the hottest toys out there. And if they want to make uh, Brad's dolls that are in a rock band who have a belt buckle that says enter, you don't have to buy them. But people are buying them up in droves. You know, be aware of what you're buying for your kids. And if you don't want your kids getting a message like that, don't buy them a Brad's doll. Make this real easy for you. They're not Walt Disney products. They're called Brats, for Christ's sake. That's what they are, brats. If they want to make a doll like that, so, so be it. The market will decide whether or not that doll should be out there. Don't you agree? Tom. 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 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show. At 1-800-5800-TOM, that's our telephone number. All right, we are talking about a woman in Orlando, Florida, who's upset because her daughter got one of those Bratz dolls. It was a doll who is in a band with her friends, like a rock band. 
And uh, the doll had a, a belt on, and the belt buckle said, enter. Mom said that's totally inappropriate, and that's her right to believe that. So don't buy the doll for your kid. Like, why did you buy the doll for your kid? It's one 800 800 tom That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, Mike on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Father. Son? Who aren't in, who aren't in uh, Hollywood heaven? <laughs> you are the man, Tom. Tom, I, I do agree with you that the market should decide, that people should decide. I think it's disgusting that society has, has you know, gotten to the point where this has become, you know, allowed. But I don't like the fact that maybe at a sleepover that, you know, if I, if, if my daughter was still that age, that she would possibly be subjected to that kind of, uh, you know, thing. I mean, I, I don't know. Well, she could be it. subjected to all kinds of things. Uh, her friend's uh, parents uh, uh, may uh, subscribe to HBO or Showtime. Or the Spice Channel? Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, they but may what? have all kinds of things over there. Uh, alcohol, uh, marijuana, you never know. Yep, and one one less thing I think is, is better. It's just it's just something it, it's something that we have to accept, but we don't have to like it, you know? Well, like I say, you can certainly be more careful about who your kid hangs out with. Oh right, right. But at a sleepover where she may invite five friends, I mean you never know. I mean it's it's just it's just a possibility, but I don't like it, but I agree with you that, that society should in a whole decide, not one individual who doesn't like it. That's wrong. And, and that's what we have happening these days now. You know, we have uh, society deciding, uh, that, you know, on, on all kinds of stuff that, you know, I don't want to see it. I don't my kids see it. I don't want you seeing it. It's nobody's business what I see or if I have a kid what my kids see. Not, not your business. I agree. Thank you. All right, Tom. You have a great day. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Lisa on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. I'm glad you brought up this issue. Um, I was shopping during Christmas time recently, and it, it's, it was really hilarious to stand in the aisle and watch the type of people who purchase these disgusting dolls. Um, I mean, just to look at these dolls, they look like like little mini skanks, <laughs> and and the the people who are buying them look exactly the same way, which made me laugh. I don't know why anybody would purchase these disgusting dolls for little girls. Is that what they want their little girls to look up to? Well, yes. I, I mean, I keep in mind how many uh, keep in mind how many little girls today are being born to women who had kids when they were little girls. Yeah, I mean, and what's sad is do they really want to repeat that cycle? I mean, if you look at these dolls, they're like they're like these dis disgusting dolls with short mini skirts and you know the the ugly hood wrap makeup on. And uh, I mean, is that really the image you want to give your little girls? Do you want to keep keep you know that that vicious cycle of teen pregnancy and single parenthood going? It's just pathetic. Well, apparently, yes. Yeah, I, I mean, these, these people need to start looking at what they're buying their kids. It's really, it's really sad. I agree with you. All right, Tom. Thanks. Thank you. But I still think that uh, if people want to buy their kids that, uh, we shouldn't be telling them they can't. It's none of our business. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. It's Abby on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello. How are you? Great. I, first of all, I want to say that you're buying a doll called Bratz with like a Z. Like, what do you really expect, to be honest? Yeah, you know what it is. You're buying a doll called a Brat for your daughter. I mean, but um, anyway, do you remember that huge Harry Potter scandal that there was before with all the Christians that had that huge, like, community about how it's evil? Yes. I think it's kind of the same thing. Like, certain parents have certain beliefs for their children, but that doesn't mean everyone has to believe it. And that doesn't mean, like... Harry Potter should have been outlawed for everyone just because certain people think their children are studying witchcraft by reading it. <laughs> I totally agree with you. Because I remember, like, they had this, like, huge meeting, and I remember one of my friends wouldn't talk to me because I liked Harry Potter because she thought I was a witch. Really? Yeah. They were, like, totally gung-ho, like, you're a witch because you read Harry Potter. It's a children's book. It's a children's toy. Come on. Like, calm down. It's not like the brat doll has, like, its own pack of condoms with it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> and even so, cool, you're teaching your kids safe sex. Way to go. <laughs> <laughs> At least you're, you know, sending them in the right direction. Yeah. But really, you're buying a doll called Bratz. 
with like oversized heads and little mini skirts. Like, do you really expect it to be like a educational toy for your child? Yeah, you're absolutely right. But did you know an interesting fact that Bratz is getting sued by Mattel because the creator of Bratz was working for Mattel at the time he came up with the idea? Yes, and uh, at some point, uh, Mattel is going to assume ownership. Yeah. Of these dolls. Yeah, my dad dated, like, one of the vice presidents there, so I knew all the inside scoop back then. Really? Yeah, she was interesting. <laughs> <laughs> oh, boy. But basically, I think, you know, you should just, whatever toys. There's some weird toys out there, you know? But I think parents are always going to find things that are wrong when they're overprotective of their children. And basically, I think you don't trust your children if you do that, like, do you think your daughter is really going to conclude that enter is some type of sexual innuendo? And if she does and she's seven, that's kind of another issue. No, well, exactly right. Exactly. Well, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Appreciate the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. Natalie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Well, I'm just, I've just been listening to what everyone's been saying, and there's all these outraged people talking about, oh, what if they see this? What if they see that? And I think what it really boils down to is if the parents have a problem with something, they need to take charge and take control of their child's life and stop trying to say, hey, we should censor this or, you know, coming out in these outrage. We're outraged about a doll. I mean, if you don't like the doll, don't buy it. That's exactly right. And I just, it's just so stupid and ridiculous that these people are, you know, they're, it's newsworthy. Yeah, well, that's true. And this woman just trying to make this big stink. I'm amazed that somebody even wrote this story. I know, exactly, as, as if there's not other more important issues to be dealt with. So, that's it. I agree with you. Thank you for the call. 1-800-5800-TOM. We're talking about those brat dolls. And a woman in Orlando, Florida is upset because her daughter got one of the dolls. Daughter is seven or eight years old. And uh, the doll, who is supposed to be uh, uh, a, a girl in a rock band is wearing a belt, and the belt says on the belt buckle the word enter. And mom, who in my view clearly has a dirty mind, is upset that her daughter is seeing this. And it wasn't enough that she took the belt off, gave the doll to her daughter without the belt on. Was it enough that the company that makes the Brad Stiles offered a couple of free dolls? She wanted to be in the newspaper. She wanted people like me talking about it. Well, we're talking about you, honey. But uh, come on, brats. The dolls are named brats. What do you expect? One eight hundred five eight hundred. Tom is our telephone number. It's Todd on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hello, Tom. Hello, Todd. How are you doing? Great. You know, I think it's it's ridiculous. I mean, I've I've been in the store. You know, I've got a little daughter, and there's not a chance in hell I'd ever let her use that doll. But I walk by, I look at it, and it looks like a little miniature slut, and I. No, if that's what a parent wants to buy for their kid, that's fine. But this this woman in Florida is a moron. You know, the boxes, they're not brown paper wrap boxes where you can't see what you're buying. You see right in there. It's clear. You can see the doll and her little trampy mini skirt and whatever else they're, they've got them dressed up in. She saw it when she bought it. Why is she complaining now? Totally agree. Well, Tom, that's all I need to say. Can you take me out of old school? Yes, I certainly can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi, this is Aaron. Yes, I just said that. Oh, okay. I didn't hear yet. Um, my comment basically was the kind of moms that would buy that toy for their daughter. They probably dress the same way. They probably dress like a tramp. So the, the kid's going to see it anyway. <laughs> now, what, what does mom's belt buckle say? I have two little boys, so I don't have to deal with brat stools. But <laughs> if I had a daughter, I wouldn't. I wouldn't probably buy her those kind of things. But I dress normal, so I don't know. Good That's points. That's my opinion. Aaron, thank you. Ryan on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey, how's it going? I just want to say that this is just crazy madness. Um, the, the whole deal on the on the seatbelt. I mean. Like on the airplane, it just says like, insert here, you know, like enter, but insert here, big deal, big, big woody whoop, you know. It's it's crazy. It's crazy to be getting upset about this. Yeah. You know, I, I believe in freedom of uh, speech and freedom of uh, uh, expression, and if the company can make money selling uh, dolls like this, they should be able to do it. I agree, and uh, 
yeah, people people wanted to uh, uh, really have something to complain about, something to go to. <laughs> well, there we go. Again, you're not going to get the free plug. You keep trying. But we've got the delay, and uh, you can't get around it if that's that. 1-800-5800-TOB, that's our telephone number. Here is Bill of the Tom Likas Show. What up, Tom? Not much, Bill. You know what? I have noticed there's a lot of dolls out there that have, uh, like, the spawn dolls that, you know, you can, they're, they're killers, they're vicious, and all this other stuff. But we don't focus on those as much. And, you know, it's a doll. It's pretend. Uh, you know, I don't condone the fact that, that it's funny, but at the same time, you've got all these other dolls that are, you know, also vicious and demonic and could lead to all sorts of things. So I think it, I, I think it's just another one of those cases where someone wants to get them free. They're overanalyzing the situation. And if you're going to buy your kids those dolls, then, you know, that's on you. Well, until they are ready to get rid of the t-shirts that say, boys are stupid, throw rocks at them. Um, I don't want to hear about this stuff. I don't. Tom, you you are a genius. I want to say that first of all. And 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 I hate to go back to an old topic, but with the whole autonomy thing, a good thing to do is have the girls pay for your meal. <laughs> I like that idea. <laughs> Thank you for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Paul on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom, how you doing? Doing great. Hey. I got three stepkids, and one of them at the time was 11 years old, and they saw her, her their father like maybe every two months or so, and for Christmas, he gave him a brat stall, and she brought it home, and I sat her down, said, this is inappropriate, threw the doll away, and said, that kind of stuff doesn't belong in this house, and that lady is freaking crazy. She just wants some free money or something. You're responsible for your own kids. If you don't like it, throw it away, and don't let them be around stuff like that. Exactly right. So we should get on a topic that, you know, does someone some good, not these idiot people that don't know how to handle their kids. Well, there's a lot of them out there, unfortunately. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Aaron on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How's it going, man? How are you doing? Going great. Well, here's my question for you now. We've been talking. I've been listening to you. And, we're, we're, you know, there's all this talk about... Everybody saying, you know, that this is right, this is wrong. I wouldn't buy this for my kid, or I would, or this and that. Uh, my question is, what do you what do you think the word means? Why did they put it on there? I mean, we can all draw our own dirty conclusions, but I mean, is it just some cheap Chinese like knockoff? Just some word that they printed on there? I mean, I who, you know, who comes up with this stuff? Why why is it on there? What do you think? Well, brat stalls are uh, subversive. I mean, look. They they are the anti Barbie. That's what they are. There you go. He didn't want to have a conversation about it. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey. So I got a complaint. I'm hoping you can help me. I went to the video store the other day and I picked up a porno. I brought it home and there was two people having sex on it. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for that. Steve on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom, what is up? Long time listener, first time caller. Thank you. You're the man. Listen, I've got a seven year old daughter going on eight. I take her to the store when, you know, birthday time or any other certain thing where I'm going to buy her a doll. She'll go through and pick what she wants. She looks at that doll and says, That's an ugly doll, Dad. And. And it's, I think, I believe it's because the way I raise her, there's, even if she would pick that, which I knew she wouldn't, um, it's inappropriate. I also would not allow her to pick a baby where they feed the baby uh, bottles and they change the diapers because I'm not, that's not the way I'm raising her. I'm not raising her to be familiar with raising a baby or uh, condoning that, the way the brats are dressed, the way they have makeup on or anything like that. Just not going to have it. And you know what? My eight-year-old daughter is not interested in it in, in, in the second place. So it amazes me how any parent or, uh, you know, godparent or mother or daughter, they would allow their child to have a doll like that. Matter of fact, even my daughter's friends don't even get dolls like that. It's ridiculous. 
No, I totally understand, but, uh, you know, again, I think there is an audience for that. I agree they might be on the low end of the uh, social scale, but uh, if people want to buy that kind of thing and there's a market for it, then the person who's making it should have the right to sell it. Tom, Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. It's the Tom Likas Show. Oh, yes, yeah, shorter commercial breaks. You hear us now six days a week, Saturdays from 2 until 6 p.m., Monday through Friday, 3 until 8 p.m. As you head home on 97.1 FM Talk or blowmeuptop.com. Oh, yeah. Let's continue with your telephone calls. We're talking about a woman uh, based in Orlando, Florida, named Victoria Staley. She's upset that her daughter got a brat doll. This is a Bratz doll called Chloe. She's a rocker doll. Whatever that is. Mom is all upset that uh, her seven-year-old daughter, Brianna, saw Chloe's belt buckle that said, Enter. one 800 800 tom It's Danny on the Tom Like His Show. Hello. Hey, how's it going, Tom? Great. Hey, you're the man. Thank you. Yeah. Hey, uh, I just have something to say. I don't think I don't think that lady has an opinion uh, right now. Everyone, you know, has their own little build going on. Uh, if they make profit off something and it's legal, well, you know, who cares? Pretty much. That's how I feel about it. Yeah, and um, I mean, people make dolls, you know, for people to play with and this and that. You know, male dolls. You know, like like older people. I mean, what's the big deal? They make those dolls. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, 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 that's that's true. Deal. Yeah. So, I mean, what's the big deal? That lady just, you know, I think she's crazy. Yeah, I agree with you on that. Ebony all the time like your show. Hello. Hi, Tom. I'm a huge fan of yours. Thank, Thank you. Call. Thank you so much. This conversation, although I didn't know about this Brad's episode or issue until today, but this brings up an argument that I had with one of my friends yesterday about why parents, especially mothers, blame everybody else for the dysfunctional results of their kids and what i was telling her is you guys want to blame the movies you want to blame the clothes that are sold in the stores you want to blame a brat doll maker well my issue to her is you know what i'm a parent so it's your responsibility if you're not going to allow your child to have that doll how about you do something like teach them why you don't want them to have a doll like that there's there, there's no reason for parents to always make a case against the doll maker or the person who makes the song or the push, person who makes the movie when really it's the parent's responsibility to teach the child in the way they want them to go. Yep, I think you're right. And, and you know, we almost lost our friendship over this. Now, I don't have kids, and I made a very conscious choice to not have them because I want to live a very happy life, and I don't think children represent that for me. But for those women who did want to make that decision, you can't blame the teacher because your child fa failed the class. Your child failed the class. You can't blame... You can't blame the brat doll maker for making something that they want to make and make money. Don't get the kids a damn doll. I agree with you. Gina on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi. Hi. I am calling in. I am very upset about this brat doll thing. Tell us why. I, tr I really believe that they should just leave this whole situation alone, and they should not ban the dolls, and they shouldn't even go through this. I'm I'm a 30 year old. I collect brats. My daughter's 10. She collects brats. I don't see anything wrong with them. I didn't see, hear anybody say anything. You know, Barbie wasn't this much of a subject when Barbie was popping out babies on the store shelf. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And why? You know, I totally agree with the last caller. It's it's all in how the parents raise the kids. You know, they're they're sitting here looking at these dolls and how they make these dolls. Well, look at the look at the videos that MTV plays. Are they trying to, to sue MTV for showing these kids their videos? Well, I don't know what time we were watching MTV. I haven't seen a music video on MTV in 15 years. <laughs> Except for TRL. That was it. <laughs> yeah, and even that's going down the dirt now. It's done. TRL finished. History. All done. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Here is Brandy on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. 
Hi, Dad. Love the show. Thank you. I wanted to tell you, I think these dolls are a perfect reflection of the people who buy them. I know someone who collects them for her daughter. Anytime you see this woman, I don't care what time of the day or night, you could easily mistake her for a hooker. <laughs> Low-cut, big, fake boobs, short, short skirt, high, high heels, fish dance, whatever. Total, total slut dresser. She loves these dolls, and she buys them for her kids. She buys them. <laughs> Amazing. Oh, my God. Yeah, but I think it's a reflection on the people. I really do. Oh, I wonder how many of the people were 16 years old when they had their kid to, to begin with. <laughs> yeah, probably. Got knocked up in high school or junior high. There you go. You nailed it. Food for thought. 1-800-5800-TOM. It's Eric. Eric is listening to our online stream in San Antonio, Texas. On the top, like his show. Hello. Father Tom, how are you? Doing okay, sir living the dream look i want to tell you that i think these brat stalls are the best invention since sliced toast what what needs to happen is that it was so hard for me being a sixth grade boy to hook up with my first girl kids in third grade boys in third grade are going to be hooking up with you know these girls because brats says it's acceptable i love it i think it's amazing <laughs> that's right creating future slots you know what? If they're, all they're going to want is maybe their nails to be done, and they're putting out. You don't got to take them out to their movies. It's it, the economy's crap. Just put get them put nails on their fingers, and they're take you're taking them home. I love it. I think it's amazing. It's the best thing ever. Thank you for that. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello here to uh, well Art on the Tom Likas show. Hello Art. What's up, Tom? How you doing? I'm doing okay. All right. Here's my here's my thought on this subject. Uh, at the moment, right now, we have soldiers fighting for the same freedoms that give these people the right to make this doll called freedom of speech and expression. And we shouldn't take that for granted. And if this lady wants to pretty much censor everything, there's a place like that for people like that. It's called the Middle East. I don't know if you've heard of it. I have heard of it, yes. <laughs> she can just move her butt out there. And she can also walk five feet behind the men, because that's what they also do there. And her entire life will be censored. <laughs> I'm sure that's true. I think I think we should adopt the last one, I said, but that's just me. That's just you, of course. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's our telephone number. Let's say hello to Joe on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Tom! Joe! I cannot believe it, Tom. Hey, I got a story for you, man. Uh, my niece walks by me uh, uh, during the Christmas holidays here, and she's singing, I kissed a girl, and I liked it. I love the taste of her cherry chapstick. I think this blows the brat doll away. What's up? <laughs> this blows it away, Tom. <laughs> my, my, my niece is going to be bisexual by the time she's 11. <laughs> <laughs> and I, I think that was a chapstick. Uh, yeah, yeah, cherry chapstick. She's talking about, you know... <laughs> She's talking about, uh, you know, something getting else. With her, getting with her schoolmates. What's she going to do when the teacher hears this, you know? <laughs> My we, brother's going to go crazy. I, I didn't tell him, but, you know, I, I think it's because of the mom. The mom's got her on this, uh, the radio stations, you know. They're cruising around. She's listening. She's listening to the Fergie song. I put the boys on rock, rock. I, I mean, I swear to God, I don't say anything because of my brother to kill me. You know, just, you know, the wife runs the house over there, you know what I mean? I hear what you're saying. Sean on the top, like his show. Hello, Sean. Hello, Tom. Hello, Sean. Tom, I'm outraged. Uh, when I heard this story, I ran right to my daughter's toy box. So I had to search through the dolls there to make sure that there was nothing unacceptable here. And here I am. I'm looking at this yellow bear, Tom, and right across the shirt is the word plain as day, poo. <laughs> poo, Tom. Who do I complain to? Who do I call? That's a good question. I don't know. I'm I'm just beside myself, Tom. I gotta keep searching here, but uh, can you blow me up? <laughs> yes, yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. We're talking about the Brad doll, the rocker girl doll, Chloe, and on her belt buckle it has the word "Enter." And her parent is upset about this. Nadia on the top like his show. Hello. What up, Tom? Not much, Nadia. First time caller. Thank you. Yeah, I love the show. Um, have you ever seen those dolls called Homies and the 25 Cent Machines? Homies? Homies, dude. Homies. They're no. dressed up in their little baggy pants with their bandanas and their <laughs> tattoos. 
And they're basically advocating gang violence. And I think that if a bunch of, you know, low-rent gangster trash wants to buy their kids a bunch of low-rent gangster trash dolls, why is that my problem? I agree. Why do I care? Thanks a lot, Tom. Can you take me out with a bong rip? Yes. Yes, I can. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. That's our telephone number. Dave on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hi Tom. I've been listening to you about since nineteen eighty. Loved your show. I've always loved it. Uh, I just uh, can't believe that people are actually discussing this because they never came on the air when Barbie came out with skimpy clothes. And you have all these teenagers running around with these uh, skin t-shirts on. You know, they really don't even know what the hell that means. Well, I, you know, you're right. Barbie, uh, in my mind, is the biggest bimbo and slut out there. That's right. That, and has been out there for years. She didn't have to have the word enter. Her whole uh, her whole manner says enter. That's right. That's right. Tom, keep up the good work. Love listening to you. Thank you, Dave. Appreciate the call. It's 1-800-5800-TOM. Let's say hello here to Don on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, Tom. How you doing? Doing great. Hey, so there's basically no statistical evidence whatsoever that a doll would lead to anything except what it leads to, which is a little kid playing with it. The um, the idea that a doll is, is going to lead to something more than that is kind of, it's insane. And I think it's interesting that this lady comes out of Orlando when, isn't Disney, like, their corporate headquarters are in Orlando and... High School Musical, that girl, Vanessa Hudgens, doesn't yeah. she look just like a brat stall? <laughs> all the outfits she wears. So, you know, they're just, it's basically total nonsense. Um, and if they did, if those brat stalls actually, or any doll led to anything like that, I'd be buying them in droves and, and giving them away like candy. <laughs> <laughs> Tom, thank you for the call. Tom like it. 1-800-5800-TOM. Tom. 1-800-5800-866. The Tom Likas Show. The Tom Likas Show in Hollywood. 1-800-5800-TOM is our telephone number. The brakes are shorter. We take more calls, we take them faster. That's what we do. That means your call gets on the air. So if you haven't tried us lately because the phones have been busy, try us now. The more calls I take, the more chance for you to get in. Stephanie on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hey, uh, I got two things to say. Yeah. First of all, you know, some kids catch on to the sex thing early, some kids don't. Uh, but... Either way, uh, you, the younger kids, they're not even going to know what enter means on a belt. They don't care. It's just a belt on a doll. Secondly, the kids that catch on, I was 10. Barbie was my favorite doll. My friends and I, all our Barbies had sex. And it's like a drama. Like, you play with your Barbie dolls, and you got them cheating on Ken, and Ken's cheating on them. And you create these scenarios and these dramatic roles is what you see on TV. And it's like, get real. I mean, I, I was raised with good values and a good family, and... I, I played with dolls and I don't cheat on each other and, you know, and have sex and all kinds of crap like that where you just bang them against each other and it's done. And, uh, you know, it, it's just, you just, it's make believe. It doesn't turn you into a slut. You know, I mean, it, the, the parenting is what's going to turn you into a slut, not a doll. And, you know, so, I mean, every kid that ha owns a Barbie or owns a brat designates one of those dolls to be a slut, anyways. So, brat just came out with a slut that is just right out there for you. It just says it all. <laughs> By the way, as a man, I, ladies, I just want you to know, as a man, if I met you and you had a belt buckle on that said enter, you're the kind of chick I want to get to know better. Yeah, I mean, unless I'm... Tell her it's policy! For yeah. God's sake! one 800 tom Gigi, on the Tom Likas Show, hello. Hi, Tom, how are you? I'm doing great! Actually, I'm in favor for the brats. I did a, a trivia for Christmas. I had, like, a bunch of boys and a bunch of girls. 
and I had Brad and I had Barbie, and all the girls wanted the uh, the Brad instead of the the Barbie. And um, I think because maybe they can relate, um, they have dark hair, big eyes, and actually I don't mind that they they like the Brad because I like it that they're sexy, and I don't mind it. And I think it will give them incentive to look good, not to gain weight, and I don't mind it. What, did the little girls be getting Rosie O'Donnell dolls that look like little Rosie? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, but I like the fact that the Brad dolls are, like, not big. They're, you know, they're sexy, and they have beautiful hair and the big eyes, and, and he emphasizes them. And I think, you know, um, at least some girls can relate to the dolls, not... Not the slutty part that a lot of people are talking about it, but just the way the doll looks. Because the doll gets so, a lot of attention. The dolls get a lot of attention, and I, I can tell you something. During my trivia, it was really a big, big hit, and all the girls wanted it, and all the guys thought that, you know, they're hot. Of course, the guys didn't want it, but, you know, they, it was just an opinion, and, and I liked it. I picked it out. I had a few, and I had more, and I was happy that I ended up buying more brats than Barbie. Good points, Gigi. Thank you. 1-800-5800-TOM. That's the telephone number. Pam on the Tom Like a Show. Hello. Hey, how you doing? Doing great. Good. Um, You know, I just want to talk about, like, real life sluts. Like, you know, the Britney Spears out there and the uh, Miley Cyruses, the a.k.a. Hannah Montanas that changed their name and then automatically, you know, they can just, uh, forego being a slut because they're not using the real name or getting annulled. Britney Spears getting her marriage annulled within like 55 hours or something. What kind of role models are those? Stop looking at the dolls. Yep, good point. Thank you for that. Amy on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Actually, I don't mind that thing. All right, uh, let's go here to uh, Byron on the Tom Likas show. Hello, Tom. Hello, How Byron. Doing? Long time, first time. Thank you. Um, anyways, I'd like to call, first of all, the mom, I think, is asked to be jealous of the fact that the dolls might look better than her. <laughs> but I, I, I'm a parent that does condone the purchasing of the dolls, um, but I'm also a parent that knows how to have my child uh, dress right. My, my child knows the difference between what's pretend and what's realistic. So um, if it's all in the parenting, I believe, and you, you buy the clothes for your parent, for your child anyway. So if you're buying the clothes for your child, you're the one paying for them. Your child's not out there buying them. So And the dolls, for that matter. Exactly, exactly. They're the dolls. You're not, you're not buying the clothes for the dolls. You're, buying, you're, you're making the choice for... For your kid, anyways, when you go out to buy clothes. So my daughter doesn't get to pick shortcut dresses or anything, or skirts or anything like that, you know. So um, that's just that was just my my. I was just kind of heated to hear that um, some people are blaming dolls for uh, you know the way ch children decide to dress and stuff like that. Good points, Byron Enoch on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yes, Tom. How you doing? Great. That's great. Uh, I just wanted to comment on the girl uh, that was talking about the little homie figures that they sell. Um, yeah, I, I actually heard um, a while back, though, uh, I heard that they actually tried to ban those little dolls, and they did this whole lawsuit trying to ban those little homie dolls, which, you know, kind of, um, it never happened. You know, it just never happened, and uh, it, it wasn't able to go through. And, uh, you know, if they're trying to do that, ban these little Brad dolls, I don't think it's ever going to happen, you know. Simple as that. I don't know why people try to ban any dolls. The best way to ban a doll is don't buy it. Exactly. You know, if, if you have a problem with it, don't buy it, and that's it. You know, as simple as that, you know. Especially if uh, you're, you're the parent trying to buy the doll, you know. Look at it first, and if you don't like it, don't like it, don't buy it, you know. I agree with you. Thank you, Tom. Thank you for the call. It's Michelle on the Tom Likas Show. Hello. Hi, Tom. Hi. Hi. Um... I had a comment for the brass. I think they're great. I'm totally, you know, these dolls are nothing but a reflection of the times. You know, Barbie was big and um, when I was growing up, and I didn't really get to enjoy them because they didn't look like me. You know what I mean? With brats, you know, there's like, you know, the, the darker skin colors and there's different ethnicities. I think it's a good thing. And there's not, we're, as human beings, we're attracted to beauty. So these dolls are going to reflect beauty because that's what girls like. That's what people like. So 
for for my my opinion is it's just a reflection of the times and I think it's a great thing. I don't see why it's so people are getting so crazy about it. Well, one person's getting crazy about it, this woman in Orlando. It's ridiculous. Thank you, Michelle, for the call. One eight hundred five eight hundred Tom. It's Joe on the Tom Likas show. Hello. Hey Tom. Hey. Hey, Tom, all of these women and men that are calling in saying these dolls are okay are absolutely wrong. They're absolutely crazy. Listen, the problem is that these little girls that are playing with these dolls think that this is how they're supposed to look, that this is an expectation that society has for it them. It is. Exactly the problem. Look around. Why, okay, why is that a problem? They, they, society does expect them to look that way. Yeah, you're right. But listen, but this is what the problem is, is that it's putting them into a category that not everybody fits into. And that's why a lot of people are growing up with a lot of insecurities because they don't fit the cookie, the cookie cutter that was laid out. For Their them. insecurities are not my problem. Not your problem, Tom. And I'm not talking about what looks good. In fact, the more insecure women are, the more likely it is they'll have sex with me. <laughs> hey, I heard that. Hey, I'm not, I'm not talking about what looks good, but I'm talking about... What's going to be best for these young women that are growing up? Well, again, if if mom doesn't want to buy them these dolls, I'm fine with that. What I don't, what I'm not fine with, is the idea that you ban them so other girls could get their hands on them. No, I I don't think that it's okay to ban them because obviously freedom of expression it's a free market and if people want to make money on these uh, products and that's fine but it's the parents and especially all these moms that are calling in saying it's okay it's okay let the girls buy it whoever that woman was that said these middle eastern girls can relate to these dolls well what about all the middle eastern girls that don't have big guys that don't want to necessarily be sexy and have these perfect little figures those are the ones that are going to be hurting from these dolls oh, i think it's absolutely no, they're going to be hurting for the fact that men won't choose them. Oh, see, and now, no, that's not true, because some yes. men might not necessarily want that ideal cookie well, cutter. But most do. That's well, why well, it's an ideal. No. Oh, if if most a, men didn't want that, it would not be an ideal. Our email address, tom at blowmeuptom.com. It's the Tom Likas Show.